Whoa. Hey everybody, it's Grady at Twin Creek Audio. Back in the studio today, and I thought I'd do something a little bit more complicated and ambitious, at least for me. I'm going to try and use the vintage Allen & Heath System 8 Mark II here to record and mix just a short song that I make up. I've got several that I've used in the guitar demo video, so I'm going to choose one of those and track some guitar, bass, and drums using the System 8 and try to use the System 8 also to mix those tracks. Now, it's not going to be a very long song, but just something that we can see how this console sounds if you're going to use it. Now for that, I'll show you I've got the direct outputs on the console connected to the inputs of a an original, actually, Motu 828 Firewire unit, which I have connected to my MacBook Pro. This is an older MacBook Pro, but it still works fine. I've got Reaper on this. So that's going to be our 8-track recorder. Then we have the outputs from the 828 going to the tape returns on the System 8. So in essence, we're using the MacBook Pro and the Motu 828 as an 8-track recorder, and we're going to use the System 8 to record and mix this song. I'm not sure how this is going to go, and this is going to be more time-consuming and more complex than most of my videos, so wish me luck, and let's see what happens when I try to use the Allen & Heath System 8 for a little song. To start off this Allen & Heath System 8 Jam, is what I'm going to call it, it's the System 8 Jam. I've got a SM57 microphone on the 10 inch box speaker in the custom speaker cabinet, hot tone Brit Wind on the British Invasion channel using these settings. I've got a little bit of treble and a little bit of mid-range dialed in and the gain is up a little bit for the sound I'm going for for this song. And I have the 57, the SM57 plugged into the mic preamp of the System 8. Alright, almost ready to go here. I've got my art guitar number two. Of course I've got a Maton strap. This isn't a Maton. I do have a Maton. If you didn't see that video, check the videos on my channel for the video of the Maton MS500. But this is custom art guitar number two. Connected to the Hot Tone Britwind, of course. And I've got this little Linux laptop here that's remote controlling Reaper on the MacBook Pro that's connected to the Motu original Motu A28 interface and that thing screen keeps going to sleep on me so I'm going to use this setup here and put down a cool rhythm guitar track using the 67 Ludwig drums. I'm going to show you the microphones that I'm using here. Up here and look at this overhead mic. This is a modified MXL R144. I'm hoping that the System 8 mic preamp has enough gain for this because it does have an Edcore transformer instead of the stock one. And now let's go around the drums. I'll show you the rest of the mics which is mostly just my standard setup except for one thing that you're going to see that's different because I'm not using any condenser mics for this demo. Got i5s, Audix i5s on the toms there. And there's i5s on the snare. We've got an Audix D1. Let's see if I can peek over here. There's the D1. Doing something else different today. I've got 
a sure SM57 for the hi-hat and these are Sabian studio hats I got a mic with an SM57 because I found power on the system A it's not working right now oh also the first tom I'm trying this out this is a GLS ES57 on the first tom the other two mics are Audix i5s I got an Audix D6 on the kick drum if you can see that very well in there and all of these microphones are going to go to the Allen and Heath System 8 mic preamps. Rise symbol is a Posti 505 series. It is a 20 inch heavy ride. We've got two Zildjian crash symbols, a medium crash, and a medium thin crash. The beat is Zildjian. They're both 16 inch crash symbols. Ready to track some drums now, using the mics and the setup that I just showed you and only the Allen & Heath System 8 Mark II preamps on all the drum mics. I've got my Linux laptop back here to Remote Control Reaper on the MacBook Pro that's connected to the Motu 828 that's connected to the Allen & Heath System 8 Mark II. So let me see if I can do this drum track. So we can hear what it sounds like. It's time to try a bass track for this little song that I'm making, the System 8 Jam. Got the System 8 here, and I just connected a Hosa Sidekick Passive Direct Box to one of the mic channels on the System 8, and I've got my trusty Squire P Bass. This is a P Bass Deluxe. It had the mirror pick guard but it was shattered so I replaced it with a black one. I really like this bass so I'm going to try and put down a bass track for this song using the System 8. I've got this kind of set up like its own little studio. I have the monitor outs from the System 8 going over to my NS10s that are actually above the Soundcraft Sapphire over here. So it's like a little mini studio within a studio here.
I'm going to attempt to mix this little track back through the console, so like an old-fashioned mix down. I have the individual outputs of the different tracks in Reaper assigned to individual channels 1 through 8 on the Allen and Heath System 8. It, I'm not really doing stems except for one thing. I did subgroup the toms to a stereo pair and doing that I have enough room to have individual kick snare toms overhead bass and guitar. I'm going to do a mix <clears throat> here on the System 8. I've got all the tracks coming out of that Motu 828 and the MacBook Pro from Reaper and I've got it broken down to kick, snare, hat, stereo toms to save one track. I've got the mono overhead which was the MXL R144 modified, the modified R144 ribbon mic. Bass guitar which was the Hosa Sidekick DI straight into the mic preamp on the System 8 and then the guitar track, all the stuff you've seen in the video. It's all coming up on the board. I have everything assigned to the left-right mix here. And I was just playing with some EQ, but I don't have any EQ on. I'm going to start back playing this now. Uh, I'm using a lapel microphone. You can probably hear the playback. I have it playing back through my NS10s. So let's see what kind of a mix I can do. If we can solo something, yeah, solo the kick just fine. Let's turn the EQ on on the kick drum here, and I've already got it kind of a little right around 3k, maybe a little lower than that, boosted slightly. Give it some more low too, 60 hertz. Snare sounds pretty good, but I'm going to turn the EQ on on the snare and take out a little 400. I've already kind of done that here. Take out a little 400 and boost in a little bit of 8K. This high band is switchable between 8K and 12K. I've got this on 8K, boosting that a little on the snare track. snare back in the mix some. It's pretty hot. Hi-hat's a little bit loud too. I don't have any EQ on that. I can pull that back. The SM57 and the preamp on the board sounds pretty good on that hi-hat. The toms already sound pretty good. Got a little bit boxiness in the tom to take out 400. Well, this is a little pointing wrong, but that should be about 400. And I don't want to take some of that out. Turn the EQ on for the toms. Oops, there we go. There we go. That sounds pretty good. 8k up here. I don't think I'm gonna add anything to that. They sound pretty good. Our overhead sounds pretty good too. I could add a little bit of 12k high frequency to it and see. That's not too bad. Let's listen to some more here. That's our overhead. these gain controls work. I've got the line inputs pressed down here that brings the taper turns to these main channels. That's my overhead. Let's see. 
Oh, this is my overhead right here. That sounds pretty good. That'll, that'll have to work for the purposes of this demonstration of the board. Let's hear what our bass track is sounding like. We can, we can solo it to a little bit of bleed. Bass is already sounding pretty good. What, what happens with the EQ? Oh, I guess the gain controls do work on the tape returns. console too even though I'm only combining eight channels. It's a lot of headroom here. I can slam stuff a little louder. Here's the final mix that I made using the System 8. I think the System 8 sounds really good. Uh, you can combine this with a small audio interface like I did with the original Motu 828. These 828s can be had really inexpensively nowadays, and the System 8s can too. The preamps in this console sound very, very good. On the Mark 2s and Mark 3s, they do have direct outputs on the channel, which is probably what you want if you're looking to minimize so much of the signal path before you get into your converters. Anyway, I didn't use any processing of any kind on these demos with this System 8. What you heard in this video was all, e well, either the camera mic and, you know, I have a room mic too uh, for my voice, but any of the music stuff when I was talking about the System 8 or playing the tracks, you're hearing at least the preamps, and in the final mix, you're hearing the preamps combined with mixing those eight channels back out through the console and into the echo audio fire for that final mix down. So that's pretty cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to keep making videos. I enjoy doing these. I hope you guys are enjoying them. Please like and subscribe so that I know you guys are watching and I'll make more videos as much as I can and have the time for for as long as I can. I appreciate you watching. Have a good one.